What's going on? This is Ryan from The Real GPU, and in today's video, I'm going to go over some possible gift ideas for fishermen during the 2018 holiday season. So keep in mind, I will be putting all the things that I mentioned in this video down in the description below, or at the very least, alternatives, simply because maybe I can't find the link to that specific product, but it will be similar to that product. So as a fisherman, one of the most important things is that you feel comfortable when you're out on the water. You want to wear clothes that are cool, that are light, that are comfortable, that you can wear over and over and over again. And the brand for me, uh, I kind of want to throw this out, but I think it's self-explanatory. Like, I'm not sponsored by this company. I only have like 40 subscribers. But this company works wonders in the fishing community. They make clothes specifically for fishing. And this company is Columbia. Now I understand Columbia is kind of an expensive brand, but I do recommend looking into some of their products. Uh, they make some really good stuff, and if you go to a Columbia store, maybe visit their website, they have a lot of clearance items. So one of my favorite products that they make is this long sleeve Omni Shade uh, shirt that even comes with its own hoodie. Now I'm a, a guy who gets burned a lot in the sun, so I pretty much exclusively wear long sleeve shirts, but when you wear cotton long sleeve shirts, it gets really hot, especially down here in Florida. So using this uh, Omni Shade type material, it's almost like a dry fit, but for Columbia, and it just keeps you cool as you're sweating and as you're out there in the 90 degree weather, and I really, really like it. Another product that I like is their Omni Shade uh, shorts. Because whenever I go fishing, it's really tough when it comes to like choosing what shorts to wear because I have basketball shorts, but again, uh, those th it's just too hot to wear it in the sun. But you don't want to wear swimming trunks because a lot of the times they don't match with whatever shirt you're wearing, and I feel like those are just really uncomfortable. A lot of the time they don't have pockets, uh, but this is a good happy medium. These shorts act as regular. They almost look like khaki shorts and they match with anything, but they are super, super light. Again, they're part of the Performance Fishing Gear line. Um, I found these for about $30 at the Columbia store, but my dad has actually found these shorts for as little as $10 a pair at Sam's Club, if you have any of those stores in your area. I don't know if the price tag showed up when I was showing these uh, shorts. It says $45, but they were on sale. I got them for 30 bucks. They also make uh, graphic tees, so this one I also got from Columbia. They were two for 30. I have another one in my closet. Uh, but the point is, uh, Columbia makes a lot of good quality clothing for uh, fishermen. So if their clothes are in your budget, uh, consider buying from them for your angler. Another thing is this hat. Uh, again, since it was my birthday, I went on like a major spending spree at Columbia. This is a hat that I got from Columbia, but you can get it or you can get a hat anywhere, honestly. You just, it's really important for a fisherman to have a hat because, you know, or else the sun is going to be in your face, you're going to be getting burned, and it's just going to be a super uncomfortable experience. So that's another gift idea. Get a hat for your angler that you're buying gifts for. And then kind of closing out the clothing portion of this video, uh, I would highly recommend getting polarized sunglasses. Those are really, really important when you're fishing because the thing about polarized sunglasses is that they deflect the glare or they eliminate the glare uh, from the sun to the water, which means that you're going to be able to see a lot deeper water and a lot farther from the shore. And this is especially important if you're sight fishing uh, because you'll be able to see fish more easily and then target them. So polarized sunglasses, really important. I got these for about $40 at a store in the keys. It doesn't matter what brand they come from, it doesn't matter the price. Honestly, the cheaper the better, as long as they're polarized and as long as the angler that you're uh, shopping for likes the style, that's good enough. So for the next part of this video, I want to talk about the different tools that an angler needs and possible gift ideas for that. The first thing I want to talk about is a tackle bag. I think that this is really important because as a fisherman, you want to be prepared for different situations which means that you're going to need different types of line, different lures, and stuff like that, and you need a place to put all of that in. In all honesty, there's no point in buying such an expensive tackle bag, because at the end of the day, it's just a place that you put all of your stuff in and you carry it around. As long as it can accomplish that task, 
you're pretty much good to go. So with that said, this is my tackle bag. It's an Okeechobee Fats uh, tackle bag. I don't really know that brand too well, but all I know is that I got it at Walmart for $10. That specific tackle bag has three pockets, uh, three side pockets, and then one main pocket that can fit about two to three of these plastic containers that hold your lures. I'll bring that out right now. It can hold two to three of these little boxes. And that's another thing that you can get your angler if uh, if he already has a tackle bag and he needs uh, some more of these containers. Now what my cousin has on his tackle bag, but I don't because I just never went around and bought the product. Uh, I'll show it to you right now. This is essentially a line snipper. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. But essentially, you attach this to your tackle bag and then uh, whenever you need it, you can grab it. There's a little line that lets it extend and you can cut your line, especially cuts braid very well, braided line. And it's just an easy tool that you can snip your line if you're making a knot and you need to snip off the tag end or your line is snagged and you need to cut the line. It's just an easy tool that specifically for cutting line you can just, it's always on your tackle bag and you grab it whenever you want. And that product is less than $10. I highly recommend it. Other tools that anglers need include a pair of pliers. You don't want to be stingy with your pliers. You don't want to get like plastic ones or whatever. Uh, you can get some pretty decent ones for around $10 like this one. This is from a brand called Tsunami. I also got this at Walmart, so maybe check and see if your local Walmart has them. And specifically, you're looking for some metal pliers, and you want them with both, like, the ability to grab things, like grab the hook, but you also want a little line cutter uh, that's usually found right here. So if you have any sort of knot or anything, uh, you need to cut the line for whatever reason, you also have the line cutter on your tackle bag if you choose to buy it, but, you know, if you're just handling uh, the hook and the hook just can't come out of the fish's mouth and you need to cut the line uh, You can just do it right here on these pliers. It's just an added thing to these pliers I think that every pair of pliers that you have should have this feature or else I don't think you're getting the best bang for your buck another product. I recommend is an electronic scale now uh, I don't really recommend this specific one. It's just the one that I have but an electronic scale can cost I don't know somewhere between 20 and 30 dollars if I'm wrong. I'll put it up here uh, for you to see and I'll leave a link to again I'll leave a link to all of the products that I mentioned down in the description or at least something similar but an electronic scale will allow you to measure the weight of your fish I think that that's really important especially if you're fishing for personal best fish you want to be able to have you know a medium where you can compare it to all of your previous catches if you just say like oh this is my personal best fish just by eyeing it I don't think that that's going to do enough the next product that I want to talk about is a line spooler made by a company called Pissifun. Uh, so what it allows you to do is you can spool your line by yourself with very little issues. If you're an angler uh, or you know an angler, you know that it's very difficult to spool rods by yourself without some sort of tool. So the way that I spool line is essentially I'll take a pencil and I'll stick it through the spool of the line. Then I'll put the two ends of the pencil on something elevated, like a, a chair, and I'll step on the ends of the pencil, making sure that the spool is elevated. Then I'll kind of bring my feet together if I want the spool to rotate a little bit slower and a little bit tighter, and I'll spread my feet apart if I want the spool to kind of roll a little bit faster. That's obviously a really weird setup, and I think investing in a tool like a line spooler, where you can avoid this mess, is something that is beneficial. And finally, the last tool that I want to talk about, it's not really a tool, but I thought it was worth mentioning, is this type of cup. So, I mean, I call it a Yeti cup, even though this uh, cup isn't from Yeti. There are a lot of knockoff brands that accomplish the same task. Essentially, you want a kind of a big cup that can keep water cold for a long time. That's gonna help keep your anglers uh, hydrated, it's gonna keep your water cold, and I think that just in general, when you're out in the hot sun, you're getting dehydrated, and you want cold water, so cups like these accomplish that task. You can get them for pretty cheap, uh, probably 10 bucks or lower, and for 
the ones that I see, again, I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, the next part of this video includes rods and reels. Now, there's a lot of variables that go into this, so this is going to be entirely uh, up to you what you decide to do. I'm going to give you all the different options and applications, or at least the most common applications, uh, so that you can make the best informed decision. Now, let's say the person you're fishing for is a small child, uh, somebody who doesn't go fishing that much, who just kind of wants to get out there and catch, you know, whether if you're in freshwater, maybe a small bass or a crappie, or if you're in salt water, just some grunts, some snapper. The rod that I highly recommend is the Zebco Dock Demon. This is a 36 inch rod, so it's very, very small, but it accomplishes the task very well. I personally use it and I have a blast using it. The reason why small rods are so cool is that when you catch a small fish, it puts up a bit of a fight because this is such a small rod and it makes fishing just much more interesting as opposed to using a big heavy rod to catch a small little fish and it puts up no fight. Uh, that kind of kills the fun in it. And this rod isn't just for small children if you have an angler who just fishes for fish that I'd say are about a foot or less in length. Uh, I would recommend this rod. It is $15 for the combo. So it includes both the rod and the reel for $15. I think it's a great deal. You can find it on Amazon. You can find it at Walmart. And it comes with six, either six or eight pound mono. I replaced it with 15 pound line. Uh, and monofilament line is very cheap. So if you want to kind of include uh, monofilament with this rod, it, it, it's a cheap addition. I would highly recommend the Ugly Stick Elite Rod. I have three different types of these rods and they all work wonders. Ugly Stick is a very good brand for fishing rods. Uh, they make almost unbreakable rods. It takes a lot, a lot of force at the wrong angle to break these rods. Uh, I even saw a video on YouTube of somebody just doing some crazy things with the rod and it wouldn't break until something just outrageous happened. I'll leave a link to that also in the description below. So if that's a good thing about that rod is that it barely ever breaks, so you can kind of get away with getting a lighter rod if you accidentally hook on a really big fish. As far as combos go, I would highly recommend the Pen Fierce 2 combo. I think that this almost single-handedly is the best bang for your buck when it comes to a fishing combo. A combo meaning that it includes both the reel and the rod. I personally have the generation before this one, the just the simple Pen Fierce combo. And it has worked wonders. I have caught tarpon on this rod. I've caught sharks. And it works really, really well. So this is just an updated version of that. You can find a combo for anywhere between $70 and $90. And I think that that's a really good price, especially considering the quality of both the rod and the reel that you're getting. And finally, uh, I want to talk about a fishing reel that I just recently got. I'm not going to go into too much detail about it because I personally haven't fished with it much. But I think that it is... It looks to be like a good deal, especially for Christmas. So coming from the same brand that is offering the line spooler uh, comes the Pissafun Carbon X Reel. I got this reel for my birthday and it is incredibly light, incredibly smooth, and it's actually quite inexpensive. It's listed at around $75 on the Pissafun website, but they have deals almost all the time. You can get at least 15% off of it. And I honestly think that it could possibly be a really good bang for your buck type deal for a fishing reel. I've seen really good reviews on Amazon and even reviews on YouTube, but this is a very nice reel. It is like a matte black color. Uh, the drag sounds pretty cool. And it seems to be a pretty good quality reel considering the price. This company makes all sorts of different fishing reels uh, from as little as like 20 or $30. And finally, if all else fails, if you either don't like any of these ideas or you're just unsure if your angler will like these gifts, what you can go ahead and do, just get them a Bass Pro Shop gift card. Bass Pro has a lot of different products, obviously. They have fishing rods, fishing reels, they have lures, a uh, line, leader, anything, you name it and that will allow your angler to freely pick what they want to buy. 
So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys got a lot of ideas as to what you get your angler for the holidays. Just as a quick recap, I went over clothes, tools, rods, reels, uh, and a gift card. Please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, it really helps with the growth of the channel. If you have any questions about the products, uh, kind of, if you have any questions about alternatives to those products, maybe this product is too expensive and you want me to find something that's kind of equivalent, just let me know down in the comments and I'll do my best to help you. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.